This tester provides an easy way for an electric utility to check the resistance in protective grounding sets used by line workers during de-energize maintenance. Thoroughly read and understand the instructions provided with it. This videotape is not a substitute for the instruction manual. To set up the tester, remove the two ball-end studs from the case and then thread them in place. These standard terminals fit most types of ground clamps. Optional terminals for special ground sets are shown later. Next, connect the 120 volt power cord. Before each use, perform this simple self-test procedure. Connect the furnished jumper cable to the studs and turn on the unit. Place the input select switch in the fixed position and turn off the continuous test switch. Now, simply push the single test button. This measures resistance in the self-test cable. The display should be in a range listed in your instruction manual. If it's ever outside that range, you should discontinue use of the tester. The unit here passes the self-test, so testing can proceed at once. To start testing a grounding set, first tighten its clamps onto the ball stud terminals. Since the testing is performed by DC current, either clamp can be on either stud. Now, turn on the tester and notice the display's readout. It first shows one basis for the test. The voltage permitted across the MAN factory preset at 50 volts. You can adjust this setting to suit your specific requirements. How to do so will be shown later. Next, the display advances to the test ready stage. Here, set for resistance less than 2.38 milliohms at the tester's preset threshold for one aught grounding cable. To set the tester for the size of grounding cable in this set, just toggle through the tester's memory by pressing the cable size button. Then stop when the size appears at the end of the first line in the display. Now it's just a one button operation to actually test the ground set. Just press the single test switch. The green passes test light will come on if resistance through the set is lower than the preset threshold or the red fails test light will come on if the resistance is above the threshold. In either case, actual resistance in milliohms also appears on the display. If it's too high, the tester can help isolate the trouble spot. To begin troubleshooting, turn on the continuous test switch and move the input select switch to the probe position. Then plug in the probes and take resistance readings across each contact interface. First, from the attachment stud to the clamp body. Then, from the clamp body to the cable ferrule. While the probes are checking each connection, the resistance measured appears at the bottom of the display. The preset threshold appears on the top line of the display, as in the single test mode. Continue probing the cable set from one ferrule to the other, taking note of the resistance readings. Also, repeat the troubleshooting process on the other clamp connections. If high resistance is found, you may attempt to make repairs and retest. But the tester cannot be used to detect problems within the cable stranding away from the ferrules. That's because those problems often are intermittent, depending on how the cable is flexed. The tester accommodates most types of grounding clamps, including the popular Chance ball socket clamps. They fit right on the ball stud terminals for full electrical contact, just as they do in the field. For other special grounding sets, Optional terminals include this straight stud for testing this type of cable set.
Its special fitting simulates an elbow bushing and can be mounted in a parking stand on a pad-mounted transformer. Another option available separately is this adapter. It accepts the orange jacketed elbow on special temporary grounding sets or underground gear. As promised earlier, this will show how easy it is to change resistance thresholds from their factory presets. Begin with the power switch off and the continuous test switch off. Then hold down both the cable size and single test buttons while switching on the power. The display should read Threshold Change Mode. Releasing the two buttons should change the display to Voltage Across Man Allowed 100 volts. In this mode, pressing the cable size button changes the underline number from 0 through 9. When it reads as desired, move the underline cursor to the next position by using the continuous test switch. Repeat the process until the required level appears. To set this level in memory, press the single test button. In this example, the tester now automatically adjusts the threshold for each cable size based on allowing 75 volts across the worker. One method for determining resistance thresholds is given in the instruction manual provided with each chance protective grounding set tester. Thoroughly read and understand it. This videotape is not a substitute for the instruction manual. This program has been presented by Hubble Power Systems, a family of companies serving utilities for more than 100 years. You know us as Anderson for tools and connectors, Chance for tools, construction, switching, and protection products, Kira for power cable, Hypertronics for test equipment, and Ohio Brass for insulators and arresters. Great names in the utility industry working together as Hubble Power Systems to bring you quality electrical products.